so I woke up this morning, it was 22 below. Now it's, uh, or it got down to 30 below, about 4.45, 5 o'clock. Now it's, uh, like 15 below. But you can see the ground is froze in the milk house. And the milk man came, but this is froze. The washer's froze. So we got the heater blowing directly on it. We put some hot water on it. Now we're gonna go see if we can get the skid steer to start. It's been plugged in all night. Doesn't seem to bother the cows at all. We put extra feed out. We put a full day's worth of feed out last night before I went to bed to make sure that cows had feed in case we couldn't get things started this morning. We're gonna go see if we can get the old skid steer going. Got her plugged in. Yeah, I just opened these doors up. Hopefully she'll go. Doesn't sound very promising. Yeah. There we go. Just had to run the glow plugs. Just had to run the glow plugs twice is all. So we had the we left the tractor plugged in since we got done mixing feed yesterday. And we're gonna, everything feels warm, hopefully she'll start. It's got a 2,500 watt heater on it, so. If anything's gonna start, it should be this tractor. It's always started pretty good for us. coming out here we're gonna mix feed and you can see everything's froze in the bag so luckily we have that vertical mixer but we use the bale forks here and we bust up the silage first with those and then we're able to go ahead and throw it in the throw the clumps in the tmr and it breaks them up pretty good it's really it'll probably only be froze maybe four inches back or so and then there'll be good silage there. But you gotta get through that frozen stuff first. We let the skids here run for a minute or so, but you can see it moving around the exhaust. Whole day. All right, so after <clears throat> about an hour of the heater blowing on this and some hot water, I think we got her, finally got it uh, unthawed. So we got our soap and acid in. Acid soap. We're gonna go ahead and turn this on and we'll see if she goes. There it goes. Seems to be working. That's good. One step at a time today. Everything's a fight. Yep, there it's finally filling up. Got some ice through the line. You can hear it. Good deal. <clears throat> On to the next problem. So we just started the car up here and one o'clock in the afternoon it's still 16 below. So still cold day but it's a lot warmer than it was. The sun's definitely out. Makes it bearable. Got feed mix the first load. Now we're uh I'm gonna go put some wood in the fire again to keep it going for the third time today and get some lunch quick and then head back out and see if we can get a tractor and spreader going today it's probably froze so we got as much manure scraped up as we could here everything's froze but we got her pretty well scraped up pretty good we got the spreader going here 
Everything's good. Free cell barn scraped out pretty well. Normally we get a full spreader load in every day and we're maybe half today. We'll get the manure off. It's gonna warm up pretty good tomorrow, so hopefully that'll help. So we got the freestall barn scraped out the best we can. You can see there's some manure built up on the floor here. That's cement, but there's maybe an inch built up everywhere else. And we got the stalls all cleaned out good. So it, the good thing is the sand is dry. So it's, the cows have nice beds to lay in and it works out all right. But it'd be nice to have this manure scraped right down to the cement like it is there everywhere. Hopefully tomorrow morning it'll, tomorrow it's supposed to get up to 20 or something and that'll make a huge difference in here. So get things completely scraped out. So this is the last job of the day. We're gonna head on out and spread manure and be all set hopefully. So it's 8.42 p.m. And we just got the last of the milkers. We brought the last milker in. And it got up to, I don't know what it is, three above, I think. It's awful dark out. You can hear, still got a, calf, a couple of calves to feed in the barn. But three above sure feels nice. It's, it's uh, been below zero all day long. Tomorrow's not supposed to be so bad, but anyway, just uh, hope your day went all right, and we'll talk to you later. We survived another day. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button below, and if you want to see more videos like this come up in your feed, please subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to find out when our next video comes out every week, hit that notification bell below and uh, that'll send you a notification when our next video comes out, which we try to send them out every week. Thanks a lot for learning more about our farm and we sure appreciate it.